Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Ron Doyle on uh, Maryland's Eastern Shore, uh, master electrician, and I wanted to talk to you all about job safety and about these uh, look like Baker scaffolds. Uh, these are um, uh, Baker's. Baker's a better quality. Uh, you'll see. This is a thousand pound rating. A little bit of little bit of specs on it. This thing's got a little got some got some age on it. It's been uh, OSHA approved, ANSI approved. But uh, these these scaffolding can be bought from uh, Lowe's, Home Improvement Centers, Home Depot, Tractor Supply. A lot of places are selling them. Some of the uh, rental companies are renting these out. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to tell you about this and the quality the, the quality of the welds is not the it's not the best. Uh, I mean, you got a little cold lap going on on that weld, and these are the ones on the rungs. They're trying to keep the heat down to uh, minimize the distortion, but you can tell there's cold lap into that into that weld, um, especially this one. Not a whole lot of uh, penetration on that on that rung, but um, these sections are come as a kit. So you get you get a uh, ladder buck, which is on the very end, and they're approximately six feet tall. It's got a pin that goes up around round pin that locks the second one together. Uh, but what you get is uh, you get two of these uh, climbing bucks, scaffold bucks. You get two bridge supports. There's one on this side, one on the other side. You get a walking platform. Um, they they come attached with two spring clips, one on this side and staggered one on that side uh, and it comes with four caster wheels that are directly under the unit um, now a lot of guys uh, buy just this one section um, and they'll try to get away with this in a single story home you can adjust this from as low as you can go all the way up to here uh, this also makes a good uh, good shelving unit inside your uh, your shop or your pole shed uh, you can always take two by six runners uh, cut some notches and put layers of plat uh, layers of plywood on top of your two by six layers and you can actually make a shelving unit but uh, that's beside the point this is more about safety uh, and I've actually had a plumber loan me one of these one time I was in a house I didn't want to uh, bring mine over when his was already set up and uh, one of the things about this when you buy when you buy this particular unit you get like I said the four wheels um, two end bucks and you get the uh, two bridge supports and the platform they only give you four of these clips and uh, it's approximately 5 16 diameter and it's good for uh, two and a half inch uh, from that point to this point on uh, grab I think they call these uh, D rings because of the shape of it um, but you only get four and that's to lock the wheels on at the bottom so the wheels don't fall off if you happen to drive over push it over top of one of your cutouts for your HVAC venting or if you if you lift this buck up so the wheels don't fall out well this one particular day I'm adamant about checking stuff before I climb on it and uh, somebody apparently had went through the house either the plumber put his scaffolding together and wasn't paying attention to this clip or somebody came in after he put it together to try to play a prank and this is a spring engagement you put your hand on this and you squeeze it and there's a pin I don't know if you can see that pin inside well I'm gonna pull it so you can see all right so that pin is not engaged you can see that it does not go through the holes that lock this corner that lock this corner down if you were to accidentally step on this without having these D clips in uh, chances are it's gonna be a real bad day for you and I had borrowed this particular uh, one one scaffolding from him because it was already set up I was doing a job and I looked around and one of these corners was released uh, that can make for a real bad day even being low to the ground, uh, I think that particular house had uh, 10 foot uh, tray ceilings and I was putting, uh, you know, crown, crown uh, rope lighting around the perimeter and uh, I happened to catch that. So if you buy this particular scaffolding from Lowe's Home Depot or Tractor Supply, do yourself a favor. Tractor Supply sells these, sells these, these little D-clips in a two-pack for approximately five dollars, so they're like two fifty a piece, or you can get them from Harbor Freight in a multi-pack. Um, well worth the investment, well worth your safety. Um, so like I said, you get as one unit, you get what you see here, less the uh, standoffs. Uh, this is support that they recommend you, the manufacturer recommends you using when you go past two bucks high. And this particular scaffolding manufacturer says that you can go three bucks high, uh, which is one, two, and you can actually do another one on top. This ceiling is approximately uh, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This ceiling is approximately 20 foot tall. I've got my uh, handrail uh, set up, and this is handrail that I built. I uh, didn't quite like their handrail because they had crossbar and they had a toe kick, and you can't work underneath of that handrail. If you stoop down on this platform, you can't work off of it because uh, your, your crossbar and your toe kick are in the way. So I made my own, uh, and all this collapses onto this uh, board. They fold up. But uh, these outriggers, uh, so the, the scaffolding itself, I've bought it as cheap as $125 for a kit. Uh, and right now, it's it's upwards of uh, right around two, $200 to $250 for the kit. Uh, these standoffs are, I believe when I bought them, I paid $130 for four of them. You do not get the wheels with them. The wheels that come from that buck, that buck kit or that scaffold kit get used onto these outriggers. 
So you can't buy these wheels. Uh, you can't buy. You don't get the wheels with the outrigger kit itself. Uh, so don't don't get disappointed when you order these and find out you don't get any wheels with it. You don't even get the uh, D clips with it because uh, you're gonna have to use the one that come from the second set of scaffold to lock onto this. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna give you a little bird's eye view. This thing's a little rickety. give you a little I'll give you a little look at what I got to do I got ceiling cans that I've got to go up on each corner about three foot out from each corner this was customers request and I've got one that goes three foot off this corner three foot off this corner it's gonna be somewhere right in here and then I have a, uh, a ceiling fan it's gonna be located in the center of this room uh, but looking at the scaffold this is me wiggling around a little bit so hope you all ain't afraid of heights but this scaffolding I can hold on to this ceiling joist and I can shift myself around to get to where I need to go um, OSHA doesn't like this they want you to get off climb down move the scaffolding they want you to lock the wheels come back up and after you've repositioned into your work um, takes a little bit of time to do that uh, but uh, this is my handrail that I've got made up it stops right at my upper leg area and it's pretty simple I've got double nut and these are staggered so these one and a quarter let me see i use inch and a quarter square perforated tubing it locks down into their it locks down into their factory holes down in here and then i've got a bolt that tethers it through makes it strong and i've got a, uh, a homemade bucket that i made for putting tools in screws nails whatever i've got my tough belt clip for my tool pouch if i want to take it off got a hammer holder got a tape measure holder onto it uh, but it kind of kind of bolts through the side there and this handrail is set up the same way this whole scaffolding was set up in approximately 20 minutes by myself uh, without any help and it can be taken down in about 15 minutes it takes a little longer to set it up uh, it's a little rickety not for the uh, faint at heart if you don't like if you don't like heights I wouldn't recommend getting one for yourself but uh look these things are all right um, get one uh, do inspections on it prior to climbing up it and uh, highly recommend using these d-clips at every connection point on your wheels catching your your bridge support going across in case this is this pin is tampered with uh, pins that connect your, your your upper to your lower so if you're leaning off the scaffolding that way this side won't fly out this pins holding it in and uh, put this I've got this bridge support set up about two-thirds the distance before that connection um, and just because just because you're not using this platform do not not install it make sure you install this this keeps the legs from racking side to side you don't want those to rack because you could bend or bust something as you're standing on the upper platform make sure you install this whether you're using it or not uh, it also works as a uh, material holding platform uh, but look this uh, video is to inform you of these Baker lookalike scaffolds um, I believe this one's a Franklin brand and that one I can't quite tell you what brand it is. Um, I've had this one about 12 years. Uh, this one's probably about six years old. Try to keep them in the shed undercover. I've got a total of four sets um, of, uh, you know, single single buck sets. So uh, I can actually have, uh, you know, a two-man crew doing acoustical ceiling tile. Uh, you, I'm, right now I'm using this for my can installation and my ceiling fan and running my wires across. Uh, but uh, be safe when you're on these. Um, if you've got employees, uh, have your employees check these daily points of connection making sure that everything is tight everything is pinned and you can see i'm running a little short on pins that one's missing that one's missing and that one's missing i'll be going to the store tonight to buy some more but uh what could happen if you're working up on a scaffold and you're paying attention to what you're doing but you're not paying attention to what's on this what's on this first lower and you ain't got those pins in uh you ride over a hole like this it's been cut out by the hvac guys you kind of get the gist of what's going to end up happening um not knowing that you know you're going to lose your balance on this because that wheel fell in the hole you definitely want these pinned and uh safety being on something that tall is uh pretty important that platform height that i got it right now is approximately i'm going to say about 11 to 12 feet high um and then my work platform from the platform to the ceiling joist is about six foot four from there to there uh gives me enough room i don't bust my head i'm only 5'10. but uh look i hope this video was helpful and if you all like my videos uh, please consider subscribing. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, I look forward to doing more uh, tool reviews, uh, more job site demonstrations, and more how-to videos. If you all like this, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, make a comment on uh, videos that you would possibly like to see an electrician do uh, on a job site. Um, 
I'd be happy to do that. Look, y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.